Known for creating incredibly cool gadgets and vehicles like the boring company's flamethrower and Tesla Cybertruck, so you'll never know if any of these cool concepts that Elon Musk teases actually come true. Tesla bus could be on those interesting lists as the total global bus market is expected to be $24 billion by 2025, and the compound growth process is still ongoing. Tesla's plan to produce this car model truly brings a new world to the future of commerce. How will Tesla create a breakthrough in their product line? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. And before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. How will the Tesla bus be different from other electric buses? Tesla CEO Elon Musk once revealed in the Master Plan Part 2 that Tesla will begin developing an autonomous electric commercial vehicle for humans. Tesla thought heavy trucks would dramatically reduce freight costs while increasing safety and security, which made operating a Tesla truly exciting and the advent of self-driving capabilities. Perhaps it would make sense to shrink the size of a bus and convert the bus driver's role to that of a fleet manager which would mean the bus would be smaller and lighter than a delivery truck. Due to its large size, the Tesla bus will use a 300 kilowatt hour LFP battery. That's not a lie. We see that thanks to the revelations of the Tesla master plan. We expect the company's first passenger vehicle to borrow heavily from the design of the Tesla Semi, not only in terms of design, but also powertrain and architecture. That said, its battery is smaller than the Tesla Semi 500 and 800 kilowatt hour packs. So the price of the Tesla bus could be around $120,000, while the price of the Tesla Semi is expected to start from $180,000 to $250,000 depending on the battery structure. Meanwhile, we found that BYD's K7M bus with a 266 kilowatt hour battery structure also has a similar price. With a consumption of less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile based on the LFP battery structure equipped on the Tesla Semi, the design on heavy trucks, however, causes its range to be significantly reduced. Therefore, the operating range of the Tesla bus can be easily predicted because it is designed with only the cover and frame along with rows of passenger seats inside. The heaviest part is probably just the structure of the battery. The range we estimate is about 350 miles on a single charge. With an interior seating designed for 12 people, it is suitable for a compact design for Tesla's bus that can operate in tunnels. It seems that the middle row of seats was removed to reduce space in the car. The big deal here is that Tesla's electric bus will certainly stand out from the rest, with the Tesla Semi's sleek, structurally engineered exterior delivering on the promise of the lowest drag coefficient on the market. Tesla Semi has a revealed drag coefficient of 0.22 CD because of its impressive bullet-shaped design. And you can see it through the Cybertruck, another electric pickup truck with a design that you've never seen before, which also happens to the space transportation industry, including SpaceX, with its rapid transporter and reusable products. Everything seems to be coming true based on Elon Musk's promise, whether good or not, as most of us expected, but is already there. Since the first Tesla electric vehicle entered service decades ago as a beam of sunlight streaming into the American sky, the world has seemed enthralled by the promise of mobility. Zero emissions and innovative design, since then, we've had the Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y, Tesla Semi, and the latest arrival of Cybertruck promised to bring future hype. So Tesla's product line will soon be handled by a self-driving electric bus and a reveal by Elon Musk. With the Cybertruck recently beginning deliveries and entering official operation, and the Roadster yet to make an appearance, the smaller Model 2 still remains on Tesla's secretive roadmap, suggesting that it may take several more years before we see those newer models. This comprehensive roadmap not only discusses Tesla's internal products, but also outlines a trajectory through which Elon Musk believes his company can reshape the world by enabling the adoption of clean energy. Musk has consistently held ambitious aspirations, sometimes yet to materialize, but in all aspects of part three of his plan, 
at least, we finally have specific specifications for the new vehicle models. What will help complete Tesla's construction of the Tesla bus? After the Boring Company secured an agreement to construct a loop for the San Bernardino County featuring a 12-passenger electric bus mentioned in the project, the initiative includes establishing a dense underground tunnel network for efficient transit on sustainable highways at speeds of up to 124 miles per hour. Additionally, the project envisions stations no larger than a single parking space, allowing seamless integration into the urban landscape compared to existing subway or train stations. Furthermore, the project aims to provide an urban loop system with hundreds of small stations covering all city areas, making it easier and faster to commute from one area to another. Looking further into the future, Tesla will continue to advance its self-driving technology, enabling all these vehicles, including cars, trucks, and buses, to operate autonomously. If you've ever dreamed of living in a city without cars, accelerating through underground tunnels from one location to another within your town, your dream may come true with the Senate bus of the future, addressing public transportation challenges for pedestrians and cyclists. In addition, Megapack powers an electric bus depot, and along with solar panels, it enables independent energy supply, showcasing the feasibility of running public transportation on electricity with significant advantages. Tesla began discussing expansion into commercial segments years ago with the introduction of its comprehensive master plan. These buses seem tailored for use in the boring company's Las Vegas loops. However, these buses are not only set to lead the American bus market, but also contribute to substantial fuel savings compared to traditional heavy-duty vehicles. The initial vision for the Vegas loop includes 51 stations and 29 miles of tunnels demonstrating substantial confidence in Musk's idea of an underground Tesla bus network. The integration of Megapack and solar panels emphasizes Tesla's commitment to sustainable and independent energy solutions for public transportation. Furthermore, some associated benefits of this improvement include an electric bus that reduces air pollution by not emitting exhaust gases, in contrast to traditional diesel or gasoline vehicles, leading to a decrease in air pollution. Additionally, electric buses cause minimal noise pollution, running nearly silently compared to other motorized vehicles, contributing to much quieter roads and improved urban living conditions. This leads to enhanced urban living conditions and cost savings, since electricity prices tend to be lower than fuel costs. With no engines running all day, as seen in current petrol-powered fleets, electric buses and trucks are becoming more popular, helping customers save on fuel and maintenance bills. In 2017, mayors of 12 major cities committed to ambitious goals and initiatives to make their cities greener, healthier, and more prosperous. Among these goals was the commitment to only purchase electric buses starting in 2025. The initiative is likely to be well-received in the electric bus industry as it involves several major cities with significant public transportation fleets. The Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transit Authority, LA Metro, has committed to a complete transition to electric buses by 2030. Elon Musk's overall plan outlines Tesla's autonomous technology, potentially downsizing the scale of buses and transitioning the role of bus drivers to fleet managers. The electrification plan will also save money for cities, as electric buses require less maintenance and repairs compared to traditional buses. Reliable and efficient electric buses also provide the opportunity to attract more drivers away from their emission-producing vehicles, making the air cleaner and reducing congestion. Large electric bus companies such as BYD are currently placing significant orders for electric buses in the U.S. According to newly released data, the number of large zero-emission transit buses in the U.S. has increased 66% since 2021. Of these, 5,480 full-size zero-emission transit buses have been funded and ordered and delivered in the U.S. in 2022. During third quarter of 2023, electric bus and battery manufacturer Proterra, bus dealer ABC Companies, and California utility PG&E opened North America's largest electric bus charging center. In less than two years, more than 20% of ABC Company's passenger vehicle sales are battery electric vehicles, so they'll essentially continue to invest in strategic tasks such as chargers to support their products. Likewise, Tesla's development of megacharger charging stations 
promises to extend Elon's promise of a future for commercial buses. This is actually the only planned vehicle in Tesla's master plan, and Elon Musk has also talked about Tesla producing an electric minibus based on the previous Model X, but it has not yet come to fruition. So, how do you think Tesla will realize bus production? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.